I am and always was an artist. My name is Ora Tamir. My art comes from an inner place which might be called channeling or maybe just meditation. I never ask how it comes, where it comes from, I just do it. I started painting when I was a little girl, really, really tiny, when I could hold a pencil basically. I just like to doodle and uh, I always wanted it in I always knew that I wanted to be an artist. There was no question. This is uh, what I love to do. Um, as time went by, of course, uh, my father said, you better get a profession where you can make money, otherwise you'll be, <laughs> I'll find you in the gutter, like he said. He was uh, of German descent, Jewish, but of German descent, very practical. <laughs> and uh, he made sure that they had a profession which was uh, drafting. I was a drafter for high-rise buildings. Um, not that it was something I wanted to do, but I had a profession. I started selling my work when I was 12. Basically, our housekeeper took some of my sketches to the next door gallery and uh, used to sell them for me. And this way I had some spending money. During uh, the time that I was in my early 20s, I immigrated to the United States, joined a club of artists, and by the way, I never took an art class. I didn't like that. So I started painting with them, and they invited a critic from New York, an art critic, to critique work, and uh, he raved about my work. So everybody started to say, hey, you better come with us and do some shows. Since I was uh, very busy with three toddlers at a time, I sent my husband to do the, the art shows. And he would uh, go to an art show and come home empty-handed. And uh, everything started rolling from there. So I, um, I was painting. I started actually exhibiting in the United States. Then went back to my native Israel, where we stayed for another for ten years, and there, eventually, I opened my own gallery, which was very successful. After ten years in Israel, came back to this country and had to start all the way from scratch. Three teenagers having to send them to college, uh, having to meet bills. So I stopped exhibiting and I went back to my profession, so not to make my father his prophecy come true. And uh, after everybody graduated from college, I decided to go back and show my work again. But at that time, I realized that I have in this country to have prints and not rely on originals only. And uh, my husband, who is a very good businessman, basically set up the business in a way that it sounded like something that will work as a business model. Uh, I was in charge of the art, he was in charge of the business, and it worked. And uh, today I am considered a pretty well-known artist. Uh, I have a huge loyal fan club and enjoy doing what I do best. There was a period where I didn't uh, show my work, but I uh, continued to paint at home. Uh, I was working uh, for structural engineers, and when people would ask me, people that knew me from before, as an artist, they would ask, what is your profession? I would say, a draft person, and I felt really, really awkward about that. It was a period that lasted 16 years. Uh, I felt encased which is this. This is pretty much a self-portrait even if I didn't know that I was doing it as a self-portrait. And I'm waiting for the time to pass and I can get back to where I want to be. So the, the, the clock has no hands because I don't know when it's going to happen 
but I always keep the hope that it will happen one day and I will be able to go back to what I love to do.